I've been driving the last, well, last two minutes of selfish time really, on a night when yeah, we could have had three points, a lot of chances. Yeah, I think, I think I've got to start off just by saying I, I couldn't be any more proud of the lads. I thought the performance was incredible. When we talk about elite mentality, which is a lot of what we talk about a lot in a changing room, it was certainly on show tonight. I thought the performance was excellent. I thought we controlled the play for most parts. Um, not trying to take anything away from Kings Lynn, but I just thought we were dominant tonight. And um, to find ourselves 2-0 down was difficult to take. Um, I think we've just been looking at the stats there. And yeah, I think we've, in terms of our attempts at goal, I think it was 17 compared to theirs, which I won't say, but not, nowhere near as many. So I think, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a strange feeling tonight because of course, we're happy to come from 2-0 down. Shouldn't have found ourselves there. And, and to be honest, we, it, we could have had far more. So I couldn't be prouder of the lads for the attitude and application. It's arguably the best we've played in periods of the game. Um, certainly in possession, I thought we controlled it really, really well, which, is, um, which is, shows that we're getting somewhere. I just feel that maybe the players with their elite mentality are feeling a little bit despondent because they know that really we could have come away with, with three points comfortably. Absolutely, and you've got to say the pride, especially conceding that goal so early in the second half. You know, teams can crumble, teams do crumble, don't they? So to see them dig in and get the rewards, you know, but they weren't really, you know, goal of the season contenders, all four goals this evening. But at the end of the day, a goal's a goal. Yeah. And it, it is a big point. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good point. Uh, you know, whether it's a big point, I think it's certainly a, a point which is better than none. But, you know, and we do stay unbeaten, which I think is, uh, you know, nice for us to have on the board. But, Ultimately, it's about taking each game as it comes. And when we look at it tonight, I think when we look back, again, like I say, the attitude and the application of the players is something to marvel. You know, they were so on it. We, we, you know, we rung a few changes as well. For those lads coming in, it just shows that, you know, we've just got an array of talent through the squad. Um, really pleased with the recruitment. But this, this group again tonight, you know, the way they've stuck together, the manner in which they've come back as well, the manner in which they've continued to knock on the door and, you know, teams would get despondent having that many missed chances. And, and again, they are in there, you know, they're not, they're not in there happy. They're not in there happy. The nature of the player of Brackley Town is to not be happy with that. You know, they've performed incredibly well, but it's just, if we, if we were going to make ourselves um, be better in any, any department is, you know, we need to finish one of those many, many chances. Indeed, moving on to Saturday, another trip on the road up to Scarborough. Yeah, um, they don't get any easier, do they? They don't, no. It's no, nothing's easy in this league, but, you know, um, again, you know, how's the squad looking, you know? Yeah. Everyone have a few lads out at the moment, or we'd like to see anybody come back in? Yeah, before, we, we'll give them some energy back now. I think we'll bring it down a little bit on Thursday. I think it's important that we manage the group, but, you know, people like James Armisen tonight, he's played 90 minutes and he was injured Saturday. You know, picked up a niggle, decided that he wanted to be fit for today, but, you know, he's not totally fit. We've had to take... Tommy O'Sullivan out, out of the firing line, really. He was desperate to play tonight, but we knew that we needed to look after him. And again, we get Alfie Minutes, who's not 100% again. So look, you know, through the team, we've got players desperately trying to stay on the pitch because one, they know the competition, but they're just, they're fighting for each other. You know, this is a real group that are starting to get more and more togetherness, a lot of belief in each other, a lot of love between the group. And, um, you know, again, Danny Newton, you know, has a hamstring problem in the first half tonight. and wants to stay on, doing everything we can. We're trying to take him off the pitch because we're trying to preserve him, but, you know, he's not having it. And, and again, you know, Dan Turner tonight doesn't even get on the pitch, but he's started our last two games and comes off and he's just buzzing for the lads. You know, of course he'll be disappointed, you know, but he's buzzing for the lads. We have Don McHale back tonight. You know, like he's just been out, he's not had any minutes whatsoever. We've got him on a programme at the moment just to try and get him up to speed because of his knee, but I thought he'd come on tonight. I thought he was incredible, you know, what a, what a talent. Uh, we need to see more of it. So, look, the gauntlet's laid down for the lads. They know the standards. Um, in terms of performance, I think that's, you know, a fantastic performance. But they should have got more and, and they're in control of that. So, you know, we need to be more ruthless in front of goal. Well, thank you for your time this evening. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you, mate.